if it was illegal to say stupid things into a microphone. Why must you be so stupid? These guys would be doing life without parole. Hey, everybody, we're back from prison. Why do we keep encouraging this kind of behavior? It's the Breaking the Ice podcast with Josh Dolan. You know, we could, like, go to jail for this. Along with Mike Shu and Isaiah Moscahanna Bonsa Mana Blitz Boskowitz. Whatever the hell his name is. Fuck yeah, bud. Why don't I give a couple shout outs while we're fucking paying attention? While we're paying attention, which isn't for very long. Hold on, hold on. Everybody, don't be a racist cock. And you know These, what? I've just had a long week, so while you talk, I'm gonna. Oh, is this thing brought to you by Fireball? Mm-mm. Don't be a racist cock. <sighs> that just gets us going. Yeah, exactly. So listen. Uh, thanks to our friends at Invoke Media. They did uh, our website, which is fucking amazing. BreakingTheIcePodcast.com. It's like Thank you, Nicole. It, it, it almost looks like we know what we're doing. You can, uh, you can watch all of our episodes since we started this show back in March. Thank you, Invoke Media. Go and to Invoke. Invoke Media made this website. Well, right which here. is a great segue. Great segue. Our friends at uh, our friends at Wolfpack Coffee. Thank you, Matt, for sponsoring. It's Wolfpack. been getting us through the quarantine. We have right, right. WolfpackCoffeeUSA.com and hold on, Invoke Media created their website. So go see some of the fucking great work that they do. We like to create synergy with our sponsors. Uh, Chris Riggs over God. at, uh, well, I'm drinking fucking beer. Who gives a shit? Uh, Garage Doors Plus, man. If you don't follow fucking Garage Doors Plus on Instagram, on social media, you're missing. This guy's fucking super. Not only is he good at what he does. He's good at content. Gar- right. He's great at doing Garage Doors, but the content that he puts out is fucking laser point right. as far as like, I'll show you before and after. So Chris Riggs, Garage Doors Plus. Thank now you it looks so like much. he's hiring actors for his videos. Also, does my does my mic sound weird? No, you sound weird because you've been drinking Fireball, fuck. I have. And one. We, also have, we also have another sponsor. You tell us. I forget what we talked. Oh, Holston Meadows Pet Resort. Hang on. <laughs> this is where all of our pets I mean, go. <laughs> Holliston Meadows Pet Resort. They're exclusively on Instagram at Holliston Meadows Pet Resort. I almost Holliston said, oh, yes. Meadows Pet Resort. Hold on. Now, my cat Chetta has been like a staple on this show since the beginning. Yeah. So I can officially say, because I talked to my cat because I'm my cat's agent, that uh, yeah, Holliston, Holliston Meadows is the official pet resort of Chetta. And Lenny, because Lenny interrupted Phil Labonte too many times that we just had to send him to daycare. This is How's it. it going, Mike? What's going those on? Are our, those are our sponsors. Oh, we just rattled through some awesome sponsor hits, man. <clears throat> How are you, buddy? Doing all right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Holliston Meadows could potentially be the official pet resort of Baby, too. Yeah, it could be. I mean, but I'm not creating editing work for me already. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You know, no, baby like, is the dog, not what you're doing. Oh. <laughs> I'm just so used to you throwing it out there. Oh, so we're still, we're still not talking about that? Not until New Year's Eve. Okay. <sighs> you know, we had a nice roll there until you fucking couldn't get a I th- sack I'm of just balls. Used to, I'm just used to <laughs> you. Oh, you're used to having balls. no fucking balls. No, he's he's got balls. He's made a baby. <laughs> I mean, I, I, think it, I honestly, at this point, think it's either mine or the mailman's. Oh, that's nice. I mean, oh. hey, the mailman has nice calves, and if we have what an about athlete me? on our hands, what? What? There's no chance. <laughs> one time, <laughs> you one time, to... at your wedding when you were outside with Mr. Scary. She didn't come to my wedding. That's true. <laughs> That's right! She wasn't there. I don't know who you were fucking. <laughs> oh! That was, was Russ Condon. Um, <laughs> oh my god he is a beautiful man he is and if he didn't have that beard i definitely you know would totally have sex with him i mean if you he could what? fool me good on him mm. we've been off for two weeks but and we're back <laughs> oh man mike how was thanksgiving thanksgiving Family. was great uh because it was just my wife my daughter and our friend mary who's an artist and she was going right. to be alone and it's also it was also her birthday love it oh, wow. and so we we're like fuck it just come over you know, yep. and and uh, my wife, uh, it was probably the best turkey 
I ever had. And usually my wife and I, it's a team effort to do the turkey and everything. Not this year. She told me she didn't want me to help. She <laughs> wanted to do it all on her own. She wanted go to go in the other room prove, and get high. Fucking stop it. Wanted to prove that she could make a full on Thanksgiving dinner. And, and? she did. It, it was fucking phenomenal. I did that really too good. with my my wife and and my parents because this was the first Thanksgiving at their house, and it was just my wife and um, my parents and my brother and sister, and I told them all to leave the room because I was taking care of Thanksgiving, and I just pulled out the stop and shop bags and just emptied everything. Yeah, that's what you do <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but it's it's a hey, listen. It's everybody's had a weird year. My wife and I. This is the first time that we're not with uh, friends and family. We we did it by ourselves. And uh, Lucia pulled out the, the recipe book, you know, old school Iowa. She's from the Midwest. And we're like, fuck it, let's go. Let's give it a shot. And we cooked a turkey and all the fixings. And it was, it was actually, it was amazing. It was, it was pretty cool. And there was no hustle and bustle. There were no, no people, which yeah. we miss. We miss, we miss, of course. You know what? I didn't miss it at all. <laughs> I don't care if my, if my relatives that. hear this. I didn't miss it at all. It was like one of the most relaxing Thanksgivings. I was ever. saying that for an asterisk, it was, by the way. It was incredible. I also didn't miss it. <laughs> I love I loved it. It was so right. quiet and we ate and we had like civil conversations and nobody cried and nobody brought up something somebody may or may not have said ten years ago. And, and wait, nobody was why we haven't been talking to you. You know, we we there was no there was no drama. You know, there was nothing. It was just a nice, relaxing time with the family. That's the way a holiday should be. It shouldn't be like a, a drama a gauntlet of emotional pain that you have to run through every year. Yeah, you, you right. don't have to go in it. like you're going into a fight with your guards up, like, right? You oh, have to imagine, thinking, imagine, okay, imagine if we and you gotta you gotta put up. Yeah, you gotta like <laughs> almost like prep. Yeah, right. you, know, you gotta like go into well, it. You and always like, okay, have so to and prep so for that be there. Uncle. I gotta be, yeah, I gotta be ready for this, and and so and so's got to be there, and I gotta be ready for that, and <laughs> we're gonna want to talk about this, and you know, I, there was none of that, none whatsoever now, this year, and it was so great. It was. I don't know if you do this. I do this on the way there, on like to any like Thanksgiving or like any holiday. I have arguments when I'm in the car in my own head before I get there. Yeah, well, usually they don't Josh. happen. But well, because I, it depends I, on who you're I, around. You know you're going into a fucking war field of fucktards, yeah. if that's you know, the case. You know what they call that in baseball? Pitching a simulated game. <laughs> Ding. Okay, there's nothing. You got to be ready, right? So you got to warm up. But then right. I feel like once you know? I get there, I'm like kind of like coaxing them into saying what I want them to say because I already oh, so have it's a like manifest destiny. Like you're making it happen. <laughs> what you don't want to happen, you're actually making it. You're so prepared, you actually make it happen yourself. Yeah. I'm like, what? Why don't like you war. ask me about the degree I don't have again? This year was nice. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. And you know what? Christmas is doing it again. We're not going oh, anywhere. This is the no. first Christmas ever that my wife and I, and yeah, my daughter also, I guess, through her whole life, have never had to jump in a car after we open presents and run so off. So think somewhere. about think about that. Think about how fucked up 2020 has been with various things. But when you get down to the core and you look for what what is good. Mm -hmm. You, Mike, for example, Mike, you and your wife and your daughter had quality time. Josh, you and your family, quality time. Me and my wife, quality time, no fucking bullshit. Now, Josh, you had some personal things that happened that kind of stirred it up. But but aside from that, if you can just sit still and say, I don't want to run the fuck around all day long. Yeah. I don't want to go from great. this house to that house to this house to that house. To, uh, da, 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 da. Sit then, still. So what, what did happen with my, which I'll say my grandfather unexpectedly died. Sorry and, about that, buddy. but I think what like with that happening, like so close to Thanksgiving, obviously everyone this year just did their own thing, which I think they were going to do anyway. Right. But then yesterday was his funeral and burial. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. And it was, it was kind of like everyone that wasn't talking in the family finally started talking again. And right. it was like, well, this is kind of like a, like not a normal thing like 2020 well, there's something like, to be said no, for weddings and funerals weddings and funerals right and that yeah oh, so right it's, like like it's it's fucked up weddings and funerals turn into things that you don't see people but then you have to talk to people so death is I awful of those things because mike doesn't like to talk to fucking I don't like anybody to talk to anybody Especially people I haven't seen in a long time, because there's a reason why I haven't seen them in a long time. Hey, I'll tell you what was fucking fun, though. You know what was fucking fun? Was Josh's fucking wedding, because we all had a good time. Well, that was fun. 
Josh we all had a good fun. time. And you brought your daughter. Yeah. Right? Wasn't yep. yeah. And it was fucking fun. I just sent you some pictures recently. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Amazing nice moment. It really good. Just Josh, your wedding was fucking awesome. Yeah. You know, the food was good. The bar was great. You know, Every, and, the whole, and just the, the, and the energy, the fun. energy of everybody there and getting to know like those are, and again, like Josh was just saying, it's like, you know, the, that moment when somebody's connecting or unfortunately, you know, disconnecting with death, it, 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 the best part is that you bring people together. But with my wedding, I feel like I just, I say this to a lot of people and they're like, oh, I bet you were. But I, I always say, I don't remember my wedding, it, but it wasn't because I was drunk. It was just because I know like, it's just a buzz. It's it a was buzz. just so much. You you are you actually don't remember weddings, but the people at your wedding do. Mike and I weren't getting married that day, but we had a great fucking time. He brought his daughter. I brought my wife. Danielle was there. Stiz, who's going to join us on the show? Everybody and was there. You had sex with Mistress Carrie, and she was no, 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 no. That was Josh. that's a pretty awesome. That was wedding. Josh. We're Josh. We're, we're clipping this, and we're going to post uh, it. <laughs> fucking right. I didn't have sex with anybody. Anyway, Isaiah and Mistress Carrie in Derry, New Hampshire. It was a wild. Oh my God, Derry! Right, Derry, New Hampshire. But the point is that that was a great fucking day. It was a it was such a good day. Everybody just the vibe was perfect. I love that shit. And unfortunately, sometimes at a funeral, the vibe is perfect. It's not off. It's not. It's not because you're celebrating, but the other people that are there that remember that person that passed, they click. They click. And also, the my my wedding also had the same theme as yours, Isaiah, where the first hour was supposed to be an open bar. And everyone <laughs> was buzzed enough after the first hour. <laughs> someone put their credit card down. Was like, this is gonna be the whole thing, right? And my wife and I did it a little bit differently. We 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 eloped and we had a party at the Hard Rock in Boston, and it was fun. It was just nice. It was a nice thing to just get together and fuck around and. Josh had sex with Mistress Carrie, and it was weird. My wife always reminds me of <laughs> when we were walking to the car after your uh, reception wedding thing, and she was just like, "That was the stupidest I ever saw you walk." I was just like, "Wow!" It might you That's didn't come to that, Mike? For some reason, you didn't show up for that. I don't even remember being invited. Oh fucking shit! That was a that was a Mistress Carrie situation. Yeah, where right. She oh, invited shit. me. Okay, you got invited, but you just were too good for the fucking room. Yeah, that's usually it. No, yeah. uh, you. I would say anytime Mike doesn't show up or respond to a text or anything, it's like totally baked. Yeah, <laughs> I, wish. <laughs> I wish that was the case now. But you, 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 you have the best intentions, but you're just a tad high. I'm just a little high. I can't get off the couch right now because I'm watching friggin' Elf for the third time. Oh yeah. my god, amazing! Movie. Oh, you're getting married. That's great. Um, <laughs> I'm binging no, on Mandalorian. No, hold on. Not that long ago. You were like, oh, fuck. I can't do the podcast. I have to be at a christening. Oh, fuck. Oh, like I told 10 you. 10 minutes yeah, before. That was my friend Katie, who's doing much better because she's cooking now. So I was going to ask. So Katie was on the podcast and Katie yeah, came and on she, and she had COVID. How is she? She's still battling COVID, but she's much better to the point where she's cooking and she's making, she makes her own limoncello and, you know. It's the last text I got from you, stuff. you said that she was not doing well. No, she was doing very poorly. Uh, she was losing her hair. And couldn't walk. No, she could barely walk. The, her joints were just in such intense pain. But um, a lot of that's starting to subside, which is Thank good. Now, this has been around. like a month for her, right? I'm it's been a month, at least yeah, at least a month. Much. Yeah. It, you know, everybody reacts to it differently. You know, that's the way she reacted to it. Some people, you know, she still has trouble tasting, though, and smelling. Right. Uh, you know, which which that, kind of sucks. That's, she's someone who likes thing. to cook and eat. You know, but I thought we were supposed to have a guest on the show. Does he not know what the fuck time it is? Yeah, I told him. I said, "Hey, how about eight o'clock?" He said, "Yeah," but you know, he's he's just showing up fashionably late. I mean, speaking of fucking stoned, I mean the guy. Jesus fucking Christ! Have some more fucking weed. Stiz grimy than I do. <laughs> I thought he was. Stiz grimy weird. worked it with fucking AAF for years. Was a fucking punching bag for all of us, right? Basically. I like giving Here, I'm Stiz. Him right now. I, I love giving Stiz shit. What did Stiz do? Stiz, Stiz made a little video, and that's why he's on the show. I think no, he's Stiz, in a new TikTok or something. Stiz right? is in a is in a new movie. You know, he already he did a, a horror movie a few years ago. He was in that, but now he's in a. Was movie. he in like a Halloween level horror movie, or was it like something that just came out? No, on? no, it was an independent film. You know, he's not. But this, the one he's doing now, has like some serious people in it, like um, like Bruce Campbell. 
I don't know if you guys know. I thought Bruce Campbell just died a few years ago. No, no. Who are you? Yeah, thinking I thought of? he died. I'm he had like to hear who you're thinking of. Was he? he had, a, was he, he in a Bruce Willis film? No, Bruce Campbell. He had Alzheimer's. I thought he died. No, no, no. Are you thinking of Wilford Brimley? No, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> he, I got the diabetes. Mike, Bruce Mike Campbell, Clark, and in, in no, the Bruce Campbell were... from Bruce Campbell was in the Evil Dead movies. He was Ash. He was the the major character. Oh, the head he guy with the Ash black hair. Ver- yeah, yeah. He looks. He has the big chin, you know. And and uh, yep. he was in Ash versus the Evil Dead. He was. I the, thought he was uh, like a country singer. Bruce Campbell? No. Yeah. No. So is Stiz like is is Stiz in, in the, the movie, movie or is he an Stiz, extra? No, I think he's in it because he posted this video of him. They had to cover up his um, genitals. Did you send Stiz an invite? Josh? I did. No, we actually didn't because we he don't want him on waiting the show. For you. That's what he's saying. Well, he's not waiting for shit. Email Look at your I fucking email. I shouldn't be saying this on here. Oh, you should. <laughs> L.edu.gov.biz.fm. No, I sent it to the email I sent you at Gmail. At Gmail, yeah. All right. Yeah. So basically, Stiz is stripping it, th- fucking the squire, and that's why he's on the show. Hold on no. a second. Not, not sure. About we'll that. be right back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I just sent it again. Uh, Imagine if Mike Shu and Stiz Grimy were president and vice president of the country. It'd be a lot better. It would be a lot better, but it would take a while. We'd have a clear winner. <laughs> a clear winner. Because <laughs> uh, you know why, Josh? They'd make what? a video. <laughs> hey, Donald Trump was in a movie. He was in Home Alone. No, what? It, well, it was in Home Alone two, to be. Oh God, to be to be specific. Yeah, that wasn't the best Home Alone. All, honestly, up until like. I, I, I wanted to talk about Christmas movies like next week or something, but I didn't know Home Alone was a Christmas movie up until like two or three years ago. Why? Because there's a seen Christmas Home tree Alone? in the movie? <laughs> like, why is, it, why, why is it? No, no, I have, but why is it considered a Christmas movie? Well, because it's all about Christmas, but my whole no, it's life. It's about a kid fucking me left at home. During Christmas. During Christmas. Uh, okay, fine. Have you seen Home Alone? Mike? Like Die Hard is a Christmas movie. That is a Christmas movie. Yeah. Did you see? Did you see the new fucking um, Die Hard battery commercial? No. With Bruce Willis. No. Oh my god. I don't it's... have regular TV. Me uh, either. And we're done. Oh look, he figured out how to use email. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Finally in. He signed what the fuck Oh, that's it? why he uh, couldn't why figure it out. Me, He's got the why? stupid wireless things. Thanks Dude, for wearing Dude, be less undershirt. fucking high. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, what's up? It's my guys and Mike Shu. <laughs> oh. Jesus oh, fucking wow. Christ. How fucking stoned are you? <laughs> what's up, fellas? That's why you couldn't figure out how to sign wow. out. Wow, 20 <laughs> minutes ago, the show started, motherfucker. Josh tried to sabotage me. I didn't have any. Oh, I trying to sabotage you. I sent it. Oh, I copied wow. and pasted an the invite. email. Dude. What's up, guys? Man, it's so good to see you guys. For real. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Good to you. see you. You don't know what no, fucking time it is. Clearly, Bakowitz. No, I know. Bakowitz is your name. It's been a long day. What's going on? Why Why was it a long day? Oh, it was just a long day. Greg, Greg show in the morning. Uh, and then I had to do, do a few. Are oh, you still doing the, the, the radio? Thing? Yeah, Greg Hill. So Stiz show. Grimy worked with us at WAF. The reason we even started this podcast for you fucks that don't know is we all worked at WAF and that shit thing went to fucking hell in February and then COVID hit and boom. And Stiz, you're still working for Greg? Yeah. Yo, did you guys see that meme that was going around the other day? And it was like, you know, it was a father and his son. And he was like, the son is like asking the dad, when did the world go to shit? And the dad's like, well, it all started when WAF yeah. went. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's been a lot that of different ba- ones of those. That basically yeah, it's funny is how it all lines up. It know? was like yeah. January was cool, February was okay until they fucking sold AAF to God, and then 
I think shit, things started really getting shaky when Kobe died, and everyone was like, "Oh, right. 20, 20's off to a bad mm-hmm. start." And then, yeah. AF, oh yeah, yeah. Like, learn how to Kobe. fly a fucking helicopter. Yeah, Kobe. Kobe might have been like that was a, definitely a big thing, and that was before. Was Tom? Did Tom Brady leave before? AF? No, there were rumors. No, that there was were rumors. That the problem was, was the problem was that the the rumors were fucking. You know, you work in sports radio now with Greg being over at EI. It yeah. was just fucking yap 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 but, yap yap. But that's what I'm saying. So even that was so like AAF right. going off was really like the, you know, the thing that set everything off. Right. And now here <laughs> we it. are. I love people like that. <laughs> no, but we're, we're, we're selfish. It happened at such an opportune time. You know, it's we're, like right at the beginning of a pandemic. Yeah, no, 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 no. The pandemic so didn't it, that's first. The best, that's the best publicity ever when you have a pandemic working for you. Right. That's fantastic. Right. right. Just hey, you want to? You want to know something funny? Well, no, no, it's not funny. It's unfortunate. But this morning, I have a friend. Uh, his name's Peter Parker, and he started out as the like Amazing a- Spider-Man. <laughs> no, oh, right? so familiar. I think I know. You know Spider-Man. <laughs> I've heard of that guy? He's he okay, like, name uh, dropping. He wow. Like, Ooh, the new era. No, he, stiz, go, he goes. Stiz, he, dropping he, names. He goes by Mr. Peter Parker, and he started out here in Boston, and he used to host shows, and he got into radio out here, and then he ended up going out to Minneapolis, and uh, he was working for this radio station, Go ninety three or something like that. It was called Go something, Go ninety five nine or something like that. And he just tweeted out last night, uh, you know, hey, man, thanks for the ride. It's been great. Unfortunately, go 95 or whatever it was oh, been so cool. to a Christian station. So oh, these so motherfuckers are like love. buying up everything. Was I don't that know a rock station? In one, Mike, but no, was that a rock station? It was hip hop. But, but the thing like is, K-Love like has that. the fucking money that whatever organization owns fucking K-Love has the money but and they're the they same the money from the fucking they don't pay taxes it don't yeah, fucking don't matter dude they're think about this my, now, they're my, not paying taxes on the collection baskets where is the mike, money no mike and i God. mike and i will know this lot God. better than anybody mike think about this mike you and i are old enough to know back in the way back in the day when they were busted on judas priest twisted mm-hmm. sister the same group of christian you know this is, you know, Ozzy Osbourne is just bad. Judas Priest is awful. Twi- and and they, there was literally fucking committees in front of judges going like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, they Those did same people. Tupac, they did that to Eminem. Yeah, exactly. The yeah, same fucking right. people, but they have the backing of the church that has no fucking taxes. I'm pretty sure, and Mike, you may, you may know this, but I'm pretty sure that I heard that like the Catholic Church is like the biggest real estate owner in the United States. Yeah. Of course they are. Yeah. Is that right? The More than of McDonald's. course they are. They're right. Like McDonald's and the Catholic Church own the most real estate, I think, in the United States. And guess like who doesn't yeah. fucking the tax the Catholic Church? So that's what I'm saying. They got they got a lot more money than those fucking baskets they pass around, man. Slo- slowly go slowly going through the fucking numbers of of looking at like taking taking down WA, for example, taking down uh Think about the stations, Mike. It wasn't like uh, TPL in New York, uh, CCC in in Connecticut, like these big stations. Yeah, CCC in Hartford. It was Hartford. the Loop in Chicago. Right, yeah. like big stations, big heritage that, again, rock stations. And, and they look at and, and we can talk about it now because Mike's out of his contract. It's like you know these people came to the owners of Entercom and said, "I'll give you eleven million dollars for WAF." Why the fuck wouldn't they do it? They're a huge company. Fine, next caller. Also, they it's have a th- bunch of paintings they stole during World War II hide, hiding in the basement yeah. that are also worth $11 million. It's always I mean, about the Nazis crazy. with you, Josh. Jesus Christ, are you yeah. somehow yeah. turning this into a fucking Nazi thing? Really? You just, are you been watching the History Channel again? I have. Dude, well, let me, dude, let me ask you, let me ask you this, guys. Do you think that the timing had a lot, you know, because like Isaiah, like you just said, like what was Intercom not going to take $11 million? Right. Like were the circum, was it almost like a perfect storm storm of circumstances where, you know, like you had the pandemic coming, you just had like, you had a lot of things happening. Oh, we didn't know it was coming at that time. We were still making fun of it on the air. No, I I, I think, I think, I I don't think, I, I don't think it had anything to do with, except that's the plan. Like, like if you all, if you all, thing, if that, if that was like a you, revenue. They were losing that much right. revenue, and they were right. like, "Sure, we'll take that, whatever." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would they have sold it? 
would they have sold it five years ago? You know what I mean? That's no, what I was trying to get. No, no because no, because right? five years ago things were better. There was more profit. Like if you look at Isaiah someone was like still a David, selling for them, they would not have sold five years. No, ago. trust me, dude. <laughs> trust me. Thirty years in this business, Mike, fucking thirty plus years too. There are points in the business where it's very profitable. Any business, I don't give yeah. a fuck if you're selling if you're selling staplers. Yeah, and radio. And had a fucking tremendous profitability cycle at certain points when it goes to, you know, this word. Okay, fine. And then David field who owns intercom merged with CBS that became a, gl- oh, yeah, a conglomerate. The merger, did that, the did merger that have had, something to do with of it? Of course it did. Because, because I don't think that wasn't as good for intercom as they thought it was going. Nope. To. No, no. And, and look messages. at Dude, look at a look at a comment. Look at a company like, uh, like iHeart. iHeart went from local to huge and they're so big you can't keep track of each market and there's a point where you're like ah, i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this one off cut that one off cut this one off so they can focus on the top it's like it's like working for fucking amazon right amazon was at one point a fucking bookstore a yeah, bookstore a picture that famous a picture fucking that bookstore like amazon, uh, right? they ain't worried about books right now dude the book business is gone so radio stations, they'll look around the country and go, their own books now. Jesus fucking Christ. And it's, it's not that WAF wasn't a fucking jam station and we didn't fucking kill it, but it just didn't make sense on a spreadsheet. Yeah, on the spreadsheet. Yeah. Right. The spreadsheet. It wasn't making any money, the way it was and that's why they unloaded it. Like the way and, it was sold and the way it was marketed as correct. a Boston station, not a Worcester station. And Mike, I just- look like you're I, on I just, a porn set. You got what? like the red, Mike looks like, I see a couch behind you. There's like a red tint. You like that? Pussy. Oh, yeah. It Casting literally couch. says, Dude. it literally Casting says couch. kill pussy behind him. That's right. Oh. This faster <laughs> pussycat kill, kill. It's one of my favorite movies. Obviously, Russ Myers, has not Russ Myers is one of the greatest directors of all time. He focused on nothing but the biggest breasts he could find. Oh. Fucking genius. Really? He should have went to his movie Vixen too. His movie Vixen is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Dude, speaking of movies, Stiz, you made a video. What's going on? Video, movie, what are you doing? Uh, Yeah, so, well, I got two things kind of that's related to the movie. So I did a movie. I shot a movie. I didn't shoot it, but I was in a movie uh, called Habitual, and we shot that, like, fuck, like three years ago now, three winters ago, in the abandoned uh, Westboro Mental Asylum. Oh, nice. Dead of winter, dude. There was no heat, no electricity. Like we had, you know, like the director got the uh, the permission from the town to go in there. Who was the director uh, on that? Johnny Hickey. That's Johnny a Johnny Hickey, Hickey production? Yeah, that's his wow. second film. That was his second yeah, film. Yeah. And so I didn't know Johnny personally. I knew him from Oxymorons, which Mike, you can attest to back in the day. That was like, that was like an underground hit out here. That was, know? it was, and it was like the, one of the first major, I don't know, like kind of media forms that really addressed the, the opioid, opioid yeah. abuse that was going on especially in that area of massachusetts yeah exactly and he knew because he was he was part of it forever from it, yeah yeah so so he he had hit me up uh you know and was like hey man i, I you know i see you at aaf and I, I i fuck with your music i'm doing my second film and i would love for you to be in it and so i had a meeting with him and it made sense and i wanted to try to get into acting anyway and so you know i did it and uh it took John, you know, we wrapped it in like a month or something and it took Johnny a little while. I think he wanted to get it out sooner, but uh, last Friday or maybe two Fridays ago, Friday the 13th, so maybe three actually, uh, it came out on demand everywhere. So it's called Habitual. It's a, it's like a psychological horror movie um, directed by Johnny Hickey. It's a second film stars me, Chris Tamborello, the kid CT, who's like a huge MTV star on like those challenge shows or whatever. Uh, a few other MTV people, and uh, yeah, that's out on demand now. And then, um, uh, and then I just landed another movie uh, directed by uh, Casey Tebow, Tebow, who's a local kid. He's from, um, damn, he, he's from like out near the the Bridgewater Triangle, I think. Oh, what's that haunted forest? There's a haunted forest in Freetown. Uh, Freetown. The yeah. Free, he lives near there. Where's that, Mike? Town? Freetown. That's down near like it's in between like Taunton and Fall River. All right, yeah, he's, Is that a he's town from yeah. or like an area. It's, I think a, it's, a forest. it's a town and it's also a state forest it's that has many they ghost say it's stories fucking that fucking haunted. Yeah, they yeah. say it's super super haunted. Like it has its own Wikipedia page. Yeah. No. Um but so I Do had you have your own Wikipedia page? No, I wish. What I just the fuck? Hey, a quick aside. You can fucking start your own, you know. 
Uh, yeah, I know. A quick aside, I went to Wikipedia two nights ago, right? Just to check something like we all do, right? Some random thing that popped in my head. You know, I'm like, facts. oh, I want to learn about this. <laughs> I know, Fact right? check. Yeah. So I go to Wikipedia. The second I go there, this long diatribe comes up and it's like, do you like Wikipedia? Do you oh, like they're asking for, oh, they're asking for money? Again, right? Oh, God. Dude. You can support our cause. But but it was. And so I'm reading the thing and it's like, you know, we, we're we're self-funded. We don't ask for money. We want it to be free because we accept now in just information <laughs> being spread for free. And they were like, do you feel that you've gotten, uh, it was cheap. Do you feel like you've gotten $5 in, of information from us? If oh, so, please. and I was like, oh, fuck. I Actually just, about 350, 350. Oh, you know, man. That, you know what, that's, that's exactly like when you go to Old Navy or the grocery store and they're like, do you want to help a starving kid today? Yeah, I'm just like, know, somebody else that. will, not right now. <laughs> if, you say, yeah, if you say no, you're a dick. And right. you know what the, yo, you know what the new hustle is now, right? Like, so, this is, there's this like gray area of when you should tip and when you shouldn't, right? Like, you know, like you're not gonna tip McDonald workers. Sometimes I don't pick if, I don't tip if like, if I'm picking up to go food. I don't know, sometimes I, I do. Sometimes I follow I Dwight Schrute's rule. Oh, yeah, I don't tip for a job I could do myself. That's <laughs> that why oh, I my oh my God. <laughs> but so the new thing is you put the credit card, you put your credit card in the machine and it literally asks you right I in know. front of right. you. Yeah, right. Do you yep, want to leave a tip? 10%, 15%. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's 20 an awkward or thing. No. <laughs> Dude, that's, and that's I, always, I been, yo, you know, that's always been the case when you go to fucking games. Like if you if you go to fucking yeah. a Patriots game, right? There's always that like, or if I play oh, yeah, golf, they do that now. Yeah. Every time, every yeah. time. And you feel, if you, you almost feel like, you know, if I don't scan up to 20%, I'm like, but what'd you do? Yeah. You yeah. took you the cap my off beer. my yeah, beer yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like when they have it on the, uh, on the pad and they turn it around. Yeah. They swipe it around. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. And then Here, they go, would you like, yes, okay, yes, I'll, Mike. I'll, yes. You no, know, I'll give you a 50% like, of you like, you fucking better leave blow me. Fucking dick, you know? Dude. Do it's you like think they did that? Coffee. How hard is it? Yeah, like, they like got a nut macchiato with whipped cream and a caramel drizzle and a fucking For real. donkey penis. Stop going to fucking Starbucks. Fucking black coffee on ice and you <laughs> put a straw in but it. Like the, the place that I've started saying no to that I feel guilty <laughs> is when I pick up pizza. Like if they delivered it, I would right. tip. But yeah, but I'm going there you. and picking it up. Yeah. Why am I tipping? Right, yeah, you're the one that's del you're delivering to yourself. You should. Yeah, to me. I'm working for you at this right? point. Also, I, I walked here because here, I started bitch, drinking it. Yeah. yeah, so, all right. Yeah, that was a quick aside with these fucks and the new way to get you to tip and feel bad. But so <laughs> also, this I don't tip because it's based in racism. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is. Wow. It is. Gonna, jo Josh because, knows no, how to is. turn the show off. He's fucking <laughs> awesome how at is this. It based in racism. Because, because he's when, fucking. When, when slavery ended, and there was oh like god. they started having oh like god. minorities. Stop saying my god, this Wait, is what? God. they started having minorities work, but they didn't want to have to pay them the way they were paying their white employees. They would say it's up to the customer to pay them for what they feel they their work was worth. You're fucking guys, delusional. Hey guys, if, you know, if we don't believe them, we can always fact check it on Wikipedia. I am a contributor, so I have like special- Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Because last time you went on there, they, they asked for money. Go for it. You get a Wikipedia tote bag? Yeah, right, like the GBH, like the GBH yeah. tote bag. Dude, if, he, yeah. if I go to Wikipedia and give five bucks, do I get a t-shirt? And all of a sudden I see Josh Dolan's Nazi fucking racist bullshit? <laughs> right, yo, <laughs> so listen to this. This is actually a- uh, this is a funny story about how, why sometimes you should just like take chances and put yourself out there. And, and it's funny, Josh, cause you and I used to talk about this. Josh used to, when I started with the Hillman morning show, Josh, Josh would always be like, bro, you will just literally tell anyone and their mother that like, oh, I rap and I do this. And you know, remember Josh? And you'd be like, dude, I gotta like try to do that more. So like, listen to how I met this kid, Casey. I was at comics come home like three, three years ago for AAF. And so, you know, I was sitting where the media sat, which was like pretty decent seats, right? And there was this kid Not like- in 2019. Hell yeah. Hey <laughs> uh, so there was this kid that was a couple rows in front of me, right? And he was like this big biker looking kid and he had long hair and a beard. And he was with like this smoke show blonde. And I just like, I just, it caught my eye. And I just remember thinking to myself like, oh, who is he? And why, you know, he must be somebody He's sitting- Did he catch nice your eye or the chick? 
Man. Oh, there it is. There we <laughs> so, so that night I went on Instagram and I was just searching the comics come home hashtag. And uh, I saw a picture that he posted and I just commented like, oh shit, bro. I saw you, you were sitting in front of me. That was a great show, right? He ended up DMing me. And at the time I was working for Maddie and Nick. Uh, and he was like, you know, we started talking and he was like, yeah, I'm a filmmaker. I'm from, uh, you know, the Fall River area. He's like, I work with Aerosmith and uh, I just did a documentary. I, I filmed um, Aerosmith's whole uh, Asian tour and I made a documentary out of it on Netflix. And uh, he, he won an Emmy for, for working with Aerosmith. And uh, he, had, he had like put out another film. So I was like, oh, wow, this is crazy. Like it made sense for, for Maddie and Nick, right? And AAF, I'm like, wow, the Aerosmith thing, that's crazy. So I brought it to Maddie and Nick. We had him come on, Maddie and Nick. And, uh, and then I just said to him, I was like, man, like if any, if you ever do anything that you think I could like be good for, like, please hit me up. Like, cause I'm really dying to get into like the acting stuff. And he was like, yeah, cool. And then, and then I remember while I was doing habitual, I wrote a song for the movie called uh, Thorazine Shuffle. And I was getting ready yeah. to shoot that video. Right, oh, Mike? Man. I was getting ready to shoot that video. And I hit this kid Casey up and I was like, Hey man, like I'm about to do this video for this other movie. Like, would you want to do it? And he was like, yeah, like I mean this in the nicest way, but like, dude, I do like real big like production. He had just, he had just did a video for Tech Nine, you know, and he was like, my budget's just like kind of, you know, and I'm like, all right, man, like I totally get it, but like, you know, just stay in touch. And again, if you have anything. So what what's what's he saying? Like, what's his budget? Like, he won't I, do anything for less than what? He didn't. He didn't give a grand. Three hundred grand. Yeah, he didn't give a number, and I know it kind of sound, but like I swear he said it in like the nicest way. You know, it was just like. You know, he didn't give a number or anything. He was, you know what I mean? But he was just like, you know, I really like try to focus on like bigger projects, you know? Um, That's but a so nice then, way. I know, no, but it really, I guess you had- Why don't you just tell me to fuck off? Yeah, I, I know, know, right? I, know. I mean, he basically just said, I don't do charity work. And you took yeah. that- Jesus nicely. fucking yes. Christ. But, but, <laughs> I'm yo, sorry. You got to respect that though, too, because yo, I'll tell you one thing- Because like, he was probably like, listen, I got child support I got to pay. And oh, I I gotta, dude, my alimony checks due tomorrow. Fuck you. Every <laughs> alimony is another crazy- It's not story. about being crazy anymore. How alimony is, is a whole nother show, Stiz. How crazy is it that Jeff Bezos' wife became the second richest person in the world just for divorcing him? I well, think she became the second smartest woman in the world. I can't <laughs> wait to see <laughs> fucking when Donald Trump gets divorced from his wife, how much that bitch makes. Which hey, one? A thousand, a thousand dollars that Melania leaves him not too shortly after he gets Dude, out. Dude, Melania has been fucking the pool boy since the beginning. Oh, yeah. She has a book tour coming. Soon. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's, she's been sitting hiding. there like this the whole time. You think so? Yeah, she's hiding. Gonna, she's Look at the disappear. amount of money Michelle Obama has made from just being married to Barack. Right. Yeah, but Barack Melania's and Trump. Gonna, Melania's going to sign an NDA and take what they what they she demands from them Dude, to not. Melania talk. is going to be the co-host back. of the Joe Just Rogan Slovakia. show soon. And <laughs> I mean, who knew who Stormy imagine. Daniels was before Donald Trump? Yeah. Oh, try, here's what we have. Melania is going to leave, make all the money. He's going to go fucking marry Stormy and fucking run in 2024. That's and it. I think he's going to... Uh, and win, exactly! How fuck is this world? Is he going to Is he gonna leave, you think, uh, peacefully? Like, there's not going to be an issue? No, no he'll never leave, leave peacefully. If, if the, the legal stuff doesn't come out. I, no. Just, I guess, not, the legal I'm stuff's not going to happen because he's got he's got no evidence. No judges are even yeah. accepting the cases. Yeah, all My biggest worry out. is between now and the time he has to leave, he's going to start a war. He you know, might. With who? A mess for Biden. That's my biggest fear. But you do, you do realize, everyone does realize on this particular situation that no one has to do shit until the middle of December because December 14th or 15th is when the actual electoral college votes are decided. Right. So once I heard that about a month and a half ago, the news yeah, meant nothing. Right. No, but it, but it meant nothing. It's like you can, you can say yeah. and, and talk. Like and, every time. Right. So, so all this forever. yapping from November 3rd, hasn't meant shit but right. just like i don't i don't get why he still wants it though because like he's even, raising even money even all the things that have come yeah. out that have shown he's like, raising that, that... fucking money dude. hey did you see it came out that uh 50 so he's been sending all his supporters emails that say or oh, when he was like trying to go to the court and was like yo we need money for the for these court cases and then if you read the fine print it said 50 percent of this donation is going towards uh, paying back the re-election uh, campaign that they were still the he's raising campaign. money. He's a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. very yeah, good. Every politician is, but it's yeah, right. Nah, like, yeah, they all it's right. Like the, he's raising the, money. The 
like the dirty stuff that Biden was doing. I'm just like the the people that are like crying about Trump that voted for Biden that I'm like, what well, you're you're voting for the same guy. I don't, I don't <laughs> they're know all the same, same person. Guy. But <clears throat> did you see? And then today there was the headline that uh, what was it? Apparently there's some scheme going on where uh, people were t- they were taking bribes for pardons. Yeah. That, well, there's that an investigation <clears throat> that yeah, there was yeah. a bribery. So and again, when, when, when you hard. take away, because you know what sucks? All the news media. And by so all, I mean. That who politicians would pardon, not the because left. they believed in them, but because they like contributed to their, their campaign. Somebody, hey, so somebody, like, so, somebody somewhere has to just do a simple fucking thing. Like I just said, the only thing that matters is on a certain date when that actual math is done, right? I don't give a fuck what CNN or Fox or MSNBC or PBS or fucking the BBC or Newsy say, a president can pardon people and he or she fucking will. Regardless. Yeah, yeah. Bill Clinton Regardless. pardoned, Bill Clinton, I just found this out like a couple of days ago. Bill Clinton pardoned like 170 something people in like right. the last uh, like 24 hours of his presidency. The thing is, it wasn't as loud then. It wasn't as loud then. There wasn't social media then. There wasn't 24 hour news cycles then. But Trump is literally, Trump's hitting up his friends like, yo, my Venmo is uh, at Trump. (laughs) Shoot me over. (laughs) Do me 100K. I'll get you out of this mess. (laughs) Because because he knows he's a a celebrity. It has a lot to do with the the social media and like who's controlling the narrative. Like, the whole narrative of like the Trump put people in cages, but it's like Obama, Obama and Biden those. built those cages. Yeah, yeah. And it's just yeah, like, yeah. there's so many people that don't even get that. I mean, they're, they're both doing shady shit, but it's just like, it depends on who you listen to and yeah. like when it comes out. When, I mean, when but- we all realize that people like us don't matter, we're pawns to their game. They're, they're, they're being on of us. Sides. Obviously our vote doesn't matter. And no, I mean our vote matters more in American Idol than it does in the presidency. Hey, I love America. They should get to that shit because I remember back in the day, so I could you grab your phone. Boop. I loved Susie's performance on the show. All of a sudden, Susan, seven million oh, people Susan voted Boyle. for fucking Susie. I remember her? That's, Mike Shoe should you should do that on AF, right? I vote for Mike Shoe. Did we do that? No, you should have oh. though. I think that was just a weird <laughs> dream you had, know. Isaiah. Yeah. No, but Yo, that before, is- before I get off this uh, from Mike and Isaiah, I want to hear from each of you like a fucking like a legendary WAF story from like way before my time, like when it was really cracking. Like in the Mike 90s. would have to go because Mike Mike was there for fucking twenty five no, years. Know, I know, I know. But so think of that because definitely before the show ends, I I just want to hear like a legendary <laughs> AF story. It'd be one, it'd be a nice one too if it's like not the same answer that you would give for like if somebody else. The story I thought I thought you would probably bring up before me was the time that you talked to Eminem's producer. Dude, that was a great fucking prank. <laughs> Yo, Josh, Josh, all right, let me tell let me tell this story. Have you told it on here before? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. All right, I haven't. So let me tell I this story. Actually, might quick. play the clip though, but I mean <laughs> Oh, I, sh- I wish I have it somewhere, dude. So I was working at, a- at at AAF for like probably a year at this point, right? Me, Josh, the kid, Carl, and we were pretty tight, you know. And uh, you know, obviously, I was doing the rap thing a lot more back then. And I was on phones one morning, and I pick up the phone, right? And and Greg was having like a, a contest or something. It was so, so it, 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 it was, was like, like an a, American a sh- Idol, co- just like a, a talent thing, right? But it was Tell more like a talent. Shark Tank thing because yeah, him, oh, that's him and Ernie Bach were like, we're gonna yes. donate money to a it certain was. business, and people exactly. were calling up with their inventions and ideas. That's it was mostly right. just people being like, that's Can right, money. Yeah, yeah. But it was like- so so I'm on the phone, you know, and the phones are lighting up, so you're moving quick, you know, whatever. So all of a sudden I pick up the phone, AAF, and a guy's like, a guy's Turn like, your yeah. fucking phone off, really? I know, I'm sorry. A guy's like, Jesus yeah, I'm calling Christ. about um, I'm calling about that contest you guys are running. He's like, you know, I'm 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 in town from Detroit. I have this really good idea for something. I, I'm I work in music in the music industry, and I just have I have this idea for like, you know, uh, I'm gonna bring local artists together and you know, like try to get them to the big time. And I'm just I'm in I'm in Massachusetts right now, just like I'm just looking for some talent. And I'm, I'm in just town happen for to a listening. conference. He said, <laughs> yeah. right. And then I'm like, and so, you know, immediately my ears are like fucking boing. I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to I'm be your out guy. of here. I'm like, see you later. I was spending the advance money already. You know, I was like, fucking yes. 
So I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, cool. Uh, what, what's your name, by the way? You know, I'm like, oh, I got to get his name anyway. So I'm like, oh, what's your name? And he goes, um, what was the name, Josh? Do you remember? Oh, Jeff I got it. Bass. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Bass. Jeff Bass, right? And I'm, I'm like, wait a minute. Like my fucking so brain obscure starts, too. <laughs> right? My brain starts going and I'm like, why do I know that name? Jeff Bass. And I'm like, boom, got it. Jeff Bass is one of the producers from Detroit that Eminem first hooked up with. There was this, this Ooh. duo. This Ooh. duo called the Bass Brothers. I was and thinking Stiz would Google his name, but Stiz knew it off the top <laughs> of his head. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and and these and these two dudes produced like the early early Eminem shit, right? And I think he even brought them uh, brought them with him when he got on too. But so I'm like, holy shit! I'm talking to the guy like who discovered Eminem, like pretty much, right? And I'm like, oh my god, like I know You're you. Like, oh, I know exactly. Greg Hill who? You are. who? Right? I'm like, oh, I know exactly. I'm like, no other calls crazy. were getting taken. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> At this point, it's like two minutes. I'm like, oh, I know exactly who you are. This is great. I'm like, I go, you know, I, I rap. I actually rap. I would love to get you some music. How long are you going to be in town for? You went uh, into fucking slut cell mode. Oh, my Lord. But that's By how I way, was. I started really. feeling so bad when I heard <laughs> the excitement in his voice. I was like, oh, God, there's no coming back from this. But yeah, so I obviously have no idea. And I'm like, and so I'm like, this is crazy. And then, uh, and then I did you do the cousin Stiz thing? So I think oh, he yeah, said something I about cousin that was Stiz. driving you nuts. That's <laughs> right, because at the time, this dude cousin Stiz had really started popping, and it, that was my name, Stiz. I've been up for like fucking ten years, and now this kid comes along. <laughs> but I was making on... you promote him. You were like, listen, yeah, he's doing his thing, but go to my website. And I was <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. okay, so, so I'm here on cousinstiz.com. Yeah, and yeah, it looks like that. you're doing great stuff. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, yo, go look at Stiz grimy, and then and then he's like. Oh, cousin Stiz, yeah, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Because like, I knew you hate him. He's, <laughs> he's good. So then we get past that, and then all I'm talking, I'm like, all right, so how can I get you my click? It's gone. The phone hung oh. up. Bro, my oh. heart sank. Now, oh. Josh, I just lost my chance. Now listen to this. I run to the back studio, right? You remember the the studio in the back? Oh God, yeah, it was like studio, yeah, the old right? uh, yeah. ninety seven seven or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I run back there. I open the fucking door. Josh and Carl are in there. I'm like, bro, you guys are never going to fucking believe this. And I'll <laughs> give you guys credit. No, you didn't laugh. You did nothing. And they're like, what? And I'm like, bro, I just- Carl didn't even know about it at the time. Oh, he did it? <laughs> Me alone in the studio and Carl walked in before you. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, dude, I just spoke to the dude who discovered Eminem. He's looking for <laughs> talent. And he fucking, I lost him, bro. I lost him. Oh my God. Like, what am I going to do? Like, da, 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 da. Well, they were like, I don't know, maybe he'll call back or whatever. So I run back in there. He calls back. Oh, I just got disconnected. I'm like, oh my God, thank God, buddy. I lost you. Da, 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 da. Why I called back was because you were tweeting at him like, I was just on the phone with you. Oh, that's right. I was like, oh no. You put it out to the world. That's so retweeting right, the Josh. Guy. Huh? He was tweeting him and emailing yes. him. He was like on the that's phone with right. the bassbrothers.com. Yes. I was like, you are no. fucking right. So the kid's a hustler. That's right. So, <laughs> so Josh, so they call, they call, he calls back, and I'm like, oh my God, I was emailing you. I was trying to find you. And Josh, how did you what what did you say? I think you just like I forget. I was just like, hey, I like I lost you or something. Or I, I think I started it. Oh, oh, I so yeah, I think you're like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then I come back in the studio and I tell you when you were like, oh, did he say this, this, and that? Exactly what you said. He said. No, and then we it started we, like hitting me. We we I think we like ended it where I like took your information and stuff and I was like, okay, I got the right cousin yeah. <laughs> And you're like, wow. no, 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 no. And then we finally like we like exchanged information or whatever. And I was like, all right, see you later. And then you came back, you're like, I'm in, I'm gonna be gone, dude. And I felt so bad because I was like, this like stiz might you know. Be. I thought you would hurt me when you found out. I was like, you might try and fight me. I'd want to tell him. And then you were in the room and I just hit play. That's and right. You hit play. It. You hit play. And you're That's like, right. Oh my Bro, God. I what? still have. And then, and then, you know, you know that like initial three seconds it takes you, you're starting to put the pieces together. Like you're starting to realize you just. You were like fucked. smiling. Like you're like, oh yeah, this is the conversation I had. And it you're took like, me a couple seconds. Conversation. <laughs> yeah, it took me a couple <laughs> seconds. 
dude. That was. And who I, was I, that I, caller? It was fucking Josh the whole time. Saying, <laughs> oh. If he had recorded it, he he was in the fucking back recording the whole it, shit on Pro Tools. Does, did that make it on the air? No. no oh my David. fucking god! That kind of shit. See, this is why radio fucking. Do you sucks. still have that, Josh? I do. Josh, yeah. Josh, you we see have that to play though? that on the show. This episode. How long does it? T- how long is it? It might be like a six to nine minute minutes. thing, but oh, it's hilarious. The yeah, whole you're thing. Put it, put it on. Can no, we put this I as part it, of the show? Yo, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'll find yeah. it. We'll, we'll, we'll play that. it right here. That dude, that was you the whole time, That's Dolan. Hilarious. Dude. Yeah. And like, I'll tell I, you, I, I just I'll tell you. I thought Stan would like notice, and because I didn't even really change my voice that much, but like, because you could call from that studio in into the wow. on air studio. I just, like, awesome. did like a nasally voice like this, and I was yeah. like, yeah, Jeff, I'm Jeff oh, Bass. I'm Jeff Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm like, Josh, what are you Dude, doing? But I- <laughs> when you hear me, now now you know that that story, I'm telling you, when you hear me, like, you could just hear it in my voice. Like, I'm like, I think I'm out. Dude, you're tripping Dude. now, man. Oh, you like, had to I, have I been fucking going off. Because I, I didn't think, I thought Stiz would know it was me like after five seconds. And then he started <laughs> asking questions like, dude, what are you doing in town? And I was like, you can hear the panic in my voice. I was like, oh, like, uh, 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 in town for a conference. Uh, I'll tell you, to this day, that's one of the best pranks that's ever been pulled on. Dude. That's fun. You do, you got yeah, pumped. Yeah. And um, that was the most exactly. scared I ever was. But. Yeah, that was <laughs> Hey, uh, I was listening to your show. Um, you, you, you guys were doing a uh, a thing where you're sharing, uh, having listeners share. What? Can you, can you kind of tell me? I'm I'm not from Boston. I don't listen to the okay. show. Can you tell me kind of like what what that was? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We were having them share. Yeah, like their ideas, and they were. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're broadcasting live from Ernie Buck Jr.'s house tomorrow, and we're doing kind of like a Shark Take thing, where um can pitch your idea to Ernie, and he will pick uh, one, somebody's idea to invest in, and uh, and give you some money. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I'm not I'm I'm not from Boston. I'm I'm from Detroit, and I was just okay. flipping around the radio. And uh, yeah. I'm actually a music producer out there. And oh, I really? I I'm yeah I thought. Oh really? I am. Nice. Not nice. yeah. I've uh I've I've represented a few rappers. Nice, my man. Yeah, you my can, name's uh, uh. Check me out. You should Google me. Stiz Grimy. Stiz Grimy, okay. Uh, Stiz Grimy. But yeah, man, keep listening, bro, you know, and uh, if you have a good idea, you can text it into Greg97107. Yeah, because I was, I was thinking it would be a, a kind of a cool idea, like if, uh, you know, there was some musicians, I'd, like, you know, they, they pitched their uh, their art to me, and I'd, I'd fly them out to Detroit, you know? Well, but damn, man, you should definitely check out my music, bro. I have a really good buzz out here in Boston. I've been in, like, the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald. Now I work on this radio show. Nice. Uh, Do you I'm know? I'm trying to take it on a more national scale, and I could definitely use some help doing that, man. So you should definitely check me out, man. Why don't you take my name down? It's, uh, it's Jeff Bass. Hold on for a minute. Are you on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just, uh, yeah, just Google me. It's, uh, it's Jeff Bass, and uh, my, my, my info oh, wait should. Wait a minute, Jeff Bass. Yeah. Like the Bass Brothers. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. What? You, you work with the, you're, the, you're one of the Bass Brothers. Yeah, Jeff. Are you crapping me right now, dude? Do, do you know what? Like any artists that would want to come. Out to Detroit because it's it's a great bit. No, but like, wait a minute though, like because wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. Because I am very familiar with the Bass Brothers through one of my favorite artists, and he, this person is a very very big artist. And I'm just wondering if you're the same person. Jeff Bass. We've represented Eminem. We've represented. Uh... Dude, you guys like pretty much like produce like all of his earlier work. Yeah, we uh we groomed a little shit. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm talking to Jack. I hung up on him. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, you can just put it. Yeah, you can put it down. Hello. Hey. All right. Um, I just called this radio station. My name's uh Jeff. We're we're Jeff. Jeff Bass. Yeah. Was I just yeah, talking I just, to you? Dude, I just reached out to you on Twitter. On I just 
sent the thing through your website. Oh, I like I I like never check Twitter. It was... Awesome. Can I get you? What's your number, Jeff? Just in case we get disconnected right now again. It's uh, 818. I'm freaking out. 818. 818. 524. 524. 7026. 7026. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sorry, my, my, my phone died and I got my cord it's like bent and it's like it dies no, no, dude don't even worry about it bro but yeah, i was like it's... literally freaking out like dude i think i just spoke to one of the bass brothers and i got disconnected like what the hell huh yeah um, so do you uh do do you know of any like uh you know uh musicians in the boston area that i'd i i mean i i think that idea is cool like a spoof off of the shark tank and i think it would be cool to you know the, I I don't really know the stations out here. I don't even really r- listen to radio, but my Why my. Why are you out here right now? Um, I'm I'm out here for a conference at the uh the, uh, s- down here near the water in uh yeah. South Boston is it? Yeah, I'm I'm down here for uh a a conference and uh I I got a meeting with uh with a couple of people because I guess the 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 Boston music is I mean. J- you guys are filming tons of movies out here now, and uh, yeah. the 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 music industry is kind of you know it's it's growing out you know, here in Boston. Out here, man. Yeah, there's, right uh, there's a there's a few guys now. making making noise out here that uh, they they've sent me some some stuff, and uh, I uh, you know I just took a look at it, and uh, there's we're we're thinking of maybe getting some studios out here in Boston too, because I mean there's L A. Detroit, New York, but there's there's really no uh no yeah. center around in Boston. And uh no, I'm just I'm just looking that. for people to help uh, you know, kinda campaign for it out here and Man. and I'd I'd love for there to be like a nice group of Boston musicians to be the face of this new Boston record company. Yeah. But I mean it's just in the beginning stages. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, like I said, I am a uh, I'm a rap artist out here. Um you know, I've been doing it for a little while. I've been growing my buzz out here pretty good. Uh, you know, I've been covered, like, in all the, you know, uh, Boston newspapers, um, you know, most of the radio stations. What did you say your name is again? Stiz Grimy. Now, that, that does Grimey. sound familiar. I feel like I've I've heard Stiz before. Um, yeah, well, there is this uh, there is this other kid out right now named Cousin Stiz. Oh, cu- yes. You know what? I have heard of him. Do you... Yeah. And I won't lie, you know, he is definitely more popping than me right now because he do you, has do do you have his contact him. information? Huh? Do you have his contact information? Um, no, I don't have his contact information. No. I would love to get a hold of him. That would be like anyone out, like any Boston people out here, just you know, making noise, like you know. Bro, I'm your guy, Jeff. I'm telling you, I am your guy. Yeah, nice. That's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm down here at the uh, at the Westin right now. Okay. And, okay. Uh, yeah, there's a. Um, yeah, man. I mean, no, exactly. So you know, uh, like I said, man, cousin Stiz, you know, he's definitely doing his thing out here. Um, but we do a different type of rap. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the cousin Stiz is more of that swag rap. Um, I, I, I hate to even use this comparison, but I'd say I'm more of like a Eminem. I'm very lyrical. Um, really? Uh, well, yeah, I'm familiar with that style. Jeff, I am telling you, you, I, you need to check out my music, like 1,000%, man. Like, can I text you my website? Um, you know, I have all my videos up there, uh, music, you know, all different stuff like that. But, I, you know, I've been saying there for the longest time, man. You know, if I had the same type of people behind me, as um, right, you right, know, yeah. Say someone, say someone like cousin Stiz, you know, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking a, at your website right now, cousinstiz.com. <laughs> no, that's the other kid. Oh, that's the other. Oh, okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm on. I'm. Grimy. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking at cousin Stiz right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I mean, yeah. Listen, I, I, I'm not trying to hate. Um, you know, he definitely does his thing out here, but you know, when it comes to like lyrics and you know music with substance and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, he, he the just judging by his website right now, it definitely looks like he's got some uh, some. It's polished. It's very polished. Check out stizgrimy.com. What is Listen, it? I got your number. Can I call it's, you back as soon as the show ends, and we can and we can talk more? And I can definitely point you in the right direction with other uh, you know musicians out here. 
Yeah, definitely. If you could get me in contact with this kid right here, that would be so. All right. So you said, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting all mixed up. I mean, I I I was just flipping through the station. So that's cousins is in your who? Oops, <laughs> hung out. You got a you dog? Got, you know what? That you you want to talk about like stories from AAF? That just got me to thinking of all the stories of the stuff that never made it on the air. Or right? that right? That's the other thing I was off. thinking. Like that that we and never that's a classic AAF story right there. Yeah. that's like one of the best. Ever, because that shit went on Your whether dog yeah. not like that or not. We were just fuck with each other. And I, you know, you know what's fucked up about the radio world? The, the, there's so much stuff, Mike. And Mike knows, and we all know. Being like things like that happened that never made it on the air because of a program director or someone that wouldn't allow it on. But that kind of shit makes you listen longer. Yeah, but, it makes you yeah. listen longer. If yeah, I if I know hear how if, it ends. Yeah, right. If if I if I know if I'm a listener and I know that Stiz Grimy is a producer on a show that I like, right. Or a person on the show. And all of a sudden he gets fucked with because we know that he's a guy who raps, right. We lo- we understand that as, oh, as and your that character. Was already, yeah. That was already established on the Hillman morning. But that's the, so that's the, the thing, you know, the you know, worked. Josh you and I know. never thought to bring it. Th- and I think that's what I was going to say with Mike, just to see Josh, like the way we never even thought to bring that to Greg, you know, but like, well, I, I tried to and, fun, and definitely with Maddie fun. and Nick, but it was like a long right. segment for the radio, mm. but it, it doesn't, but that, that, that's the, so. that's the part. It yeah, shouldn't that, fucking matter yeah. because that, if it's it, good, and all, again, if it's good, the whole nine, say it's nine minutes or something, right? Yeah. If the whole nine minutes is, is gold. Yeah. It doesn't well, and, my, and, my, and look, Mike, Mike knows better than you guys do. Mike produced the Hillman Morning Show twice in his life for a long time. Yeah, and you have to fucking enough. understand that it's it wasn't his show. You're dealing with a host. You're dealing with a lot of entities that, you know, there, there's a lot of things that have to go through filters. And, and, and we might think this is gold because I think it's fucking gold. But Greg may have thought or somebody else. It doesn't matter what show you're on. Right. But it's so fucking crazy that shit like that doesn't actually make it on the air because if you've already set the stage for who Stiz is, yeah, right? Exactly. And you've already set the stage for somebody who is a fucking rapper. And clearly, if anything Eminem even called, the kid would shit his fucking pants, Which let alone- I did yeah. it because everyone right. knew that he was right. not, like, not even just that his name is Stan, but even Stan would say Correct. he is Stan. Oh, and wait, wait till I tell you guys, uh, when I do tell you about this movie, the way it connects with Eminem. There's an Eminem movie. Oh my Of course God. there is, but, the, but, that's, but that's the best part is that that's what you're enamored by in a positive way. And when someone can tink and just pop that balloon for a second and make you fucking shit your pants, and then whoop, they've got you like hook, line, and sinker, and there's audio to it, dude. People would listen to that shit for fucking days. Yeah. Days. It's just, it's just like if Stiz did something where he knew, like I was, like how he is with Eminem, I am with the Bruins. If yeah. he was like, hey, we're yeah, looking right. for someone to like, you know, do like social. We need a goalie stuff. tonight, right yeah. now, Dylan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, if he was able to fuck around and pretend that he was Bill Burr, if he was able to fucking pretend that he was Bill Burr for a second or Bill Burr's management, oh you'd right. piss your All pants. Right. Yeah. Hey, it, if Steve right? called and he was like, I need an opener. It's brutal. And right? he's like, I'm your guy, Bill. Dude, Bill Burr's here, but we got to talk. We, we're thinking it might be you. You'd fucking be like, ah! hey, hey, guys, I found it. I found you did? it. I got it right now. Hold on. Let me just see something. No, no, we 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 already played it. We're we're gonna play it on the show. Josh is already gonna edit this in. Is it is it coming through? No, no, no. He'll, 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 no he'll, trust me, he'll edit this in. He'll put this in the show. Yeah, he'll put done. the bit in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't Mike, find it. I Mike, thought I put it on YouTube. Is it on Facebook? Wait, oh wait. Um, look under the um. Look a, under uh, the cousin uh, Stiz website. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Make sure Stiz, to download Stiz, Stiz. all his albums. <laughs> Stiz, don't worry about it. Josh is already on the show. Yeah, I was listening to your show. Um, you didn't know that was Josh? Uh, That's like Josh years. not even trying to do a different. Wow. How Dude, many I fucking. Didn't. I didn't. I'll tell you. <laughs> Boy, remember yeah. when you were on meth? How fucked up were you? <laughs> Fuck me, kid. Were you okay, still high then? The drug. That's awesome. Dude, right? Exactly. So, hey, shoot. No. Pick, pick, pick. For, for the sake of Stan's question. Pick your, pick your, it's hard to do, but like, like if the it's, sickest if it's an fucking memory. Moment, there's, there's just, I, I can't even grasp one right now. There's so right. many. How many years did you work at AF? 
twenty two three. Yeah, yeah 20, so that's this. It's a question you can't even ask. So much so, stuff, Mike. So guess what, Stiz? Fuck you and your question. Sorry. So <laughs> Just, Jesus, <laughs> let me tell, let me tell you the uh, let me tell you the M and M connection real quick. So I do. Uh, so the kid came. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Are you still trying to blow no, him? Hold on a second, hold on, guys. Pay attention here. That was called a segue. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm not sure if that was smooth or not. I felt an elbow. Hey, hey, guys, guys, let me tell you about that M M&M and M thing, guys. Rise and grind, baby. Uh, <clears throat> so the kid that Casey, shows that shows not on the radio anymore. His favorite candy was M and M's. The, the, the kid Casey hit me up like uh, <laughs> like a month ago, or no, like two months ago, and was like, "Hey, uh, I'm I'm about to do uh, another film. It's a horror movie." And I think you'd be good. Would you want to audition? And I was like, yeah, man, absolutely. So I auditioned. I sent it to him. And he was like, bro, this is great. You're in. Let's do it. The horror um, movie was called Eminem's Later Years. <laughs> no, it's called it's called Black Friday. But <laughs> was it because you weren't asking for money? No, bro. How I, I don't even I don't want to discuss the numbers, but for if come you, on, I, I'll be your agent. I need I, they it's a union movie, so I get paid the union rate. Oh, like 14 bucks an hour. Okay, keep going. <laughs> no. So, uh, no, no, it's a good number. Hundred bucks I'm a day. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's go. Song with are fun. Huh? Are you in SAG? No. No. Oh, okay. So what the fuck? Sad. How are you not a SAG member? Because this is my first movie. If I wanted to, like, I I had to look all that up because this movie is official, bro. It's official. Dude, um, then all of a sudden, you and Ben Affleck are gonna be having sex. Let's go. No, but uh, to get into <laughs> SAG, no, it's like, like yeah. it's like three thousand dollars. It's like it. what's what's the movie called? What's the movie called? Uh, Black Friday. Black Friday. Goodwill Hunting. I see the path. And it's go. with Glenn Campbell, who died in two thousand nine. This no. is good. This is good. This is good. We're interested. Go. Campbell. Um, oh my God. Boy, the numbers on this show are going way down, kid. Mike just said it was Glenn Campbell. Is Glenn that Campbell's who you were dead. thinking of, Glenn Campbell, when I mentioned his name earlier? Yeah. <laughs> Google him. He's dead. <laughs> it's not Glenn. <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, Stiz. Stiz, by the way, welcome to the fucking mess that is breaking the ice. Yeah. So you thought uh, it was Glenn Campbell this Yeah, I texted Lenny Wait, Clark. He said, know. yes, he's dead. I'm looking up Glenn Campbell. I don't even know who that you is. You should look up Breaking the Ice. It's not that popular. <laughs> not that who popular. Is, who, we had Glenn Campbell on. <laughs> who is uh who is Glenn Campbell? I really he was the original he actually he, he created Campbell soup. Oh, don't tell him that. Yeah, don't tell me. No, that. no, he's he's alphabet soup. Remember that? Can, uh, Just like how Robert me. Kraft invented macaroni and cheese. Bruce we have to Campbell, go. Gosh, Bruce Campbell. Yeah, Bruce Campbell. Yeah. What did uh, I say? It was so, it's so Glenn. awesome you thought it was Glenn. All right. Oh, Glenn same Campbell. thing. Yeah, so but, you know this going in? Uh, so he says that to me. You know, so you're in the whoever, union. Go, I got go, in, go. and then it was like a week or two out. He sent me a text <laughs> like, dude, Bruce Campbell is in. And I was like, what, bro? Yeah, that's and awesome. And so as a horror fan, you know. Did you also Campbell think it was like, Glenn Campbell? Horror. Huh? I know. You I also know. think it was Glenn? Maybe the Who's Bruce. I don't know who Bruce Bruce is a Campbell. fucking horror icon, Josh. Did you get a fucking Campbell icon. soup when you made the movie? No, I did not. <laughs> this there's is catering. fucking not there's the catering. way I thought this was gonna go. There's catering, bro. There's catering. All right. Well, was, was when they catered it, was there Campbell soup? No. Usually, when a movie is catered, it's no the soup for you. All the movies I've been in. What is this? Seinfeld now? Okay. No soup for you. Did you do? Did you do any scenes with Campbell? I like so, how Mike's trying to keep it real. I know, <laughs> I'm Mike, genuinely Mike's curious because I think the guy's real. awesome. So I want to I want to know if he talked. To okay, him. all right, good. No, no. So uh, I had last week off. He got into town last week. I'll be with him next week. So uh, I actually and so the the COVID testing that oh, the set because it's a union movie, dude. The COVID crazy testing. Are, I have to get tested for COVID every fucking day. Is every it the day. nose thing? That's not yeah, a bad thing. Thank God, no. That's it's actually. Just, they they do it they do it uh, did they go up nostril. or just the just no, the, the just each nostril yeah Same my way. wife and i did just the nozzle a friend of Thank mine took God. it last, last week huh? and they did they did the fucking <laughs> not good. good i was nervous it was going to be that one but it's not but every day you have to walk around with a mask you have to have a mask on at all times you like they got the shield even the actors man when they call you to the set um you know, you rehearse the scene a couple times before they even turn the cameras on, right? So that whole time you got masks on. It's not until they're right about before they're about to say action, you can right. take the mask off and put it, you know, like- Do you have any making out scenes in the movie? No, I wish Do I Do you did. have any lines? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a speaking role. It's a speaking role. So listen, so listen how crazy this is for me, for me, right? I'm a horror fanatic. So right there, Mike, the fact I'm working with Bruce Campbell, Josh, that's he crazy. played in this movie called Evil Dead, which is just like a- Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He, no that's iconic. legit. And that then it, and then it ended up all. becoming a show, Ash vs. Evil Dead, which you might have saw. That was on Showtime like not too long ago, um, Ash vs. Evil Dead. But he's just, he's been in like a Spider-Man movie. He's just like a – he's one of those guys that's just like everyone knows him and everyone loves him type of thing. Right. You know I mean? Josh, you would know this. He was the voice of the mayor in uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I didn't say that. Josh hasn't seen shit. That's, so. that's, 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 not, that's not really that a fucking joke, That's fucking hilarious. If that was a kid's movie, and that's he's seen it, that. he's seen that's it. That's fucking hilarious. Is it though? So, yeah. He's in denial. He's in denial. So, so no, is, right. is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs an Adam Sandler movie? No. Close. No, it's a cartoon. Oh, yeah, it's a cartoon. I don't know. Then <laughs> did Seth MacFarlane write that? <laughs> so, you see, uh, do you see what we're doing here, Stiz? Keep the no, fuck no. up. Go. So, uh, yeah, Bruce Camp, that's great. I'm a horror fanatic. It stars Devin Sawa. Now, Devin Sawa is the kid who was in Final Destination, the main one there. He got the blonde hair. Um, Those movies are fucking he's, great. He's, in that movie. he's also in that movie Idle Hands. That was like a classic when I was yep. younger. But the main thing that he did, which I, it took me like a day or two to realize, Devin Sawa played Stan in the music video Eminem Stan. Get the uh, fuck out of here. Wow. Oh, no shit. Stan. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I swear to God. I swear to God. He's the fucking kid who played Stan. And I was like. And he's in this fucking movie with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah with me. I, yeah, I've already been on set with him and shit. Actually. Did you hump his leg? No, no, come on. You I'm, fucking I'm, thought about it, though, because I would. But but how crazy, like, dude, for me, like, it was crazy. No, that's a I full circle like, crazy shit. Wait a minute. It gets better than that, right? Oh, so, but you're like a Ginsu knife. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Uh, so, right? The only thing I love more than Eminem, Freddy Krueger, right? I got Freddy tatted on my arm. Right? He's the lead singer uh, queen, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he shut the fuck up. Dick. Uh, the guy doing my makeup and, and all the special effects is this guy named Robert Kurtzman. And um, oh, I, know Robert. I thought you were going to say makeup. Robert Unglin. And Robert, bro, he did the he did the makeup for Freddy Krueger. He did Freddy Krueger. He, he did does Jay my makeup Cannon. for this podcast. He did. He did. <laughs> he did. So you name it. He did a Candyman. Uh, he just no, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So you're acting with the actor that's fucking Stan in the Eminem fucking video. And the guy and you're getting makeup, makeup done. Same guy who did Freddy By the Krueger. What the fuck? And people and so, don't know. But, I mean, Stiz is like the biggest Freddy Krueger fan. Yeah. I, I, and Eminem okay. fan. And then he combined the two. Right. Dude, that's fucking... Dude, at, at what point did you go, where the fuck am I? And I'm being paid. It's crazy. Oh! That and helps. There's, <laughs> and there's food on set. And dude, it's like... dude. The it's food like I know you're the most pumped about. It's a whole spread, <laughs> dog. There's every type of cookie you could imagine, cupcakes, fucking bagels, like whatever you want. You're just like, yo, let me get that. It's fucking That's awesome. That's awesome. Dude. I mean, That's when crazy. there was food you in really the studio, I knew you and Kaiser were going to get it. So <laughs> that was the oh. other thing. Oh, fucking Kaiser, dude. I think Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, was Kaiser on set? <laughs> he should have been. He should have been. I'll tell you that. Good food. Shout dude, but that's, cra that's crazy shit. That's like crazy life shit where you're like, all the stuff you do comes around like yeah right that's that's pretty fucking cool man that's really fucking cool and the kid casey like you know this is my first time being on like a real fucking movie i dude i have my own trailer i got there and they were like oh the fuck out of here. Here. I swear okay. God, did it say there's grimy on the door man. no it says that it says my character's name it says my character's name what's your character's name i, I don't want to say just in case but yeah yeah it's yeah. chocolate starfish his character's name is Cousin Stiz. <laughs> oh, wait. Dot com. Obi. You got it. Come that's, on. That's awesome. Because I, yeah, I, right? I saw the video of you do, getting the makeup. He, was, he got all his tattoos covered up. Yeah. Right? Well, so wait a second. You can't. Got, you can't. Got, is this the, this got, is like, not out. Here. This is not out. So you can't give us. This is like a. Like a re, are yeah. we the first interview? Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, I don't have like a huge role in this. I have a speaking role. You know what I mean? But I'm not one of the main stars. But but I, you can't tell us. You, you couldn't tell us yeah. the name of the. No, just in case. But yeah, I posted the video. But yeah, they had to cover up some of my <laughs> tattoos. Post... 
Because wait a movie, second, you can't tell us the name of your fucking character, but you posted the video. What the fuck's your yes, character? I've done there? movies. That's what they're the most adamant about. They're like, do not post pictures or videos. You can talk so about. So what's it. the do name? Not. What's your character's name? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say just in case. I don't you posted say. the video of my fucking makeup, bro. That doesn't say anything about. about the I'm just movie. checking. You were just saying your name. I was, and that I was like, wow, that's fucking. That must be crazy for you. Yeah, dude, it was so. Crazy. You know, the guy who did Freddy Krueger. So yeah. I'm in the chair and like, literally I'm like, dude, like, so what was it like, you know, doing Robert, you know? And he, and he was like, man, he's like, I'll tell you that makeup used to take three, four hours, sometimes five. If Robert was like, you know, just like, you know, just sitting like, still. Fucking, yeah, exactly. He's like, dude, <laughs> Can you imagine like, that kind of fucking mood time? He said the stories Robert Anglin has, he's like, just Robert Anglin has a story about like any actor you can name and Robert, you know, has some sort of fucking story or, you know. Now, are, 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 are you a fan of the uh, the Chainsaw Massacre movie, like the original? Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, I'm, yeah. I met that guy, and that what dude is, was like... The guy who played Leatherface? Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, and shit. He, he, he had some great story. Like, I was a little bit younger, like, before I got into radio or anything, and I was actually trying to get him on the podcast for, like, Halloween this year, and then I found out he died. But mm. that, Oh, you should look at Wikipedia. Some, that uh, I uh, well I did after I emailed this website and dead <laughs> and I was like hey I'd love to have you on I met you in Fitchburg one time and <laughs> that's why you're dead side note AAF story the time that um Spaz tried to book George Papard and he called he got in touch with his agent and said is George Papard available and he was like that George Papard has been deceased for three years now so is this some kind of joke and Spaz's <laughs> Was just so just. Uh, it's just, it a mix of panic. How and did you see? Just like how oh, did, how no. did you see his face? <laughs> how did you see his face? Huh? How did He's you see his face? Dead like, in front of you. Yeah, really? he was at the front. <laughs> Mike was at the Greg wake. Was, ask Greg about it, because Greg was there too. We were both sitting there. <laughs> oh, you just did an office or something. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think to look Leatherface up before I emailed him because I still have two autographed pit because he was also a professional wrestler. So he autographed a professional oh, wrestling. Yeah, he he's autographed dead now. His, his wrestling eight by ten, and he also <sighs> autographed a LB eight by ten. No, I'm kidding. It, a, a Leatherface. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll email his website. And then I was like, I wonder what he's up to right now. Oh, nothing. That makes sense that he was a wrestler on the side, man. Because I, you know. I don't know, Mike, if you've seen that movie, but the scene where Leatherface fucking, slint, you know, pulls yeah. open that fucking big metal door and comes through with that chainsaw. He's a oh, God, yeah. yeah. That's the like a legendary scene. For him. Yeah. yeah, and that was, that movie was creepy because it was so cheaply done. Yes. And it looked like a documentary. Yeah. That's For some really, reason, the older, like scary as fuck. Or even scary, like the, the few haunted movies I've seen, like Haunted on, uh, or Haunt, something. House on Hill. Haunted Hill. Thank you. Yes. And it was filmed in Boston. Like the opening scene is like from the Boston Common Garage. That like those kinds of movies are super scary. Like Insidious, it took me like three years to get over. But I mean, it's not that spooky. Is that the one where the, where the kid finds the films of the kids killing their parents? That's Sinister with Kevin oh, that. Bacon. No, oh. it, I mean, not, it's not Kevin like, Bacon. I'm sorry, Ethan Hawk. Ethan, Ethan Hawk, Hawk, yeah. I'll never yeah. watch that again. Let's go right back that's to a, simple hey, fucking horror. They did a they did a the, second one that's good too. Part two. I, is I don't want to be involved with it anymore. Simple the horror, out. The Exorcist. Yeah, that's a yeah, good film. That though. still scares me. It fucks with me every yeah. time, and, and of course, of course, like a douche nozzle over Halloween, I'm like, oh, Lucia, let's watch the like the you know the uncut original. It okay, it's a lot longer. There's a lot of scenes that are cut out. That thing is fucked up. Yeah, fucked up because it because it looks real. It is. It's it's like it's it's, it's 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 like you're in this British it's house. Real. Everyone from that movie died. Well, they <laughs> say they say like they say the same thing with Nightmare on Elm Street. The way you just said Isaiah that everything looks real or oh. they they used all practical effects back then. All right. of those effects are practical effects. There wasn't CGI or anything, and they say. Right. They say for Nightmare on Elm Street, like, man, they just got creative with it, you know? Like, right. they literally. Well, you had a guy that fucking burned, or, or I'm sorry, the town people burned him in the fucking incinerator because he was raping kids in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's yeah. where Freddy Krueger came yeah, from. When you go to Friday the 13th, you go back to the simplicity of, yes, it was the late 
70s, but fuck you if you don't turn Friday the 13th on the first one outside of a bit of campy filming. It's a fucking scary concept. Hey, so that, many so many yeah. actors and actresses get their starts in horror movies, right? So right, Friday right. the 13th, Kevin Bacon, Leprechaun, Jennifer Aniston. I thought Kevin Bacon got a start in Footloose. No, no man, no, he, dude. He was he was Friday the, the youngest of young in f- the very first Friday the Thirteenth. Kids walking around in his fucking boner bathers. Yeah. Was that also Jamie Lee Curtis's first? That was Michael Myers Halloween. Halloween. That, so Halloween. Jamie Lee Curtis Halloween. Johnny Depp Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Aniston Leprechaun. Yeah, there's a yep. lot. A lot of people end up getting their start. Johnny Depp Drew, also. Uh, like three Drew, Drew Barrymore was in Scream. Yes, he did. I, I watched Platoon for the first time the other... Uh, not Drew so Barrymore was Scream, right? Drew Barrymore was in Scream, right? No, uh, am yeah, I wrong Drew with that? Drew Barrymore wasn't Scream, but I think she was in like a... It was one second. That it was, was one second. Before that. She was no, like, ah! The first like 10 minutes of Scream. But that was great. That's what made that yeah. first scene so amazing because right. Drew Barrymore at the time was fucking huge. Right, and right. So when you lost you, that character right away. Right away. Like, that was a, that that was a big deal. Yeah. yeah. That was, I don't know if that was the last, but that was one of the last films of Wes Craven who died, the guy who did Nightmare on Elm Street. Dude, Wes Craven was the shit. Yeah, Wes Craven. That was oh the my cool God. thing. When WA or when the Hillman uh, show, when it was announced that he was going down to EI, Mike and me and Josh had to pull so much old shit because uh-huh. Greg wanted to do like the fucking, uh, you know, the reminisce down memory lane. And I found old interviews uh, with Wes Craven on the Hillman Morning Show, Robert Anglin. I mm. recorded them all into News Boss and then like took them. I was like, damn, I want these. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yes. Crazy. Yeah. So, well, Stiz, um, so you're going to be yeah. filming again and, and that those are going to be your scenes with Bruce Campbell. Uh, I don't know if I'm in, I don't, I don't know if I'm in a scene with Bruce Campbell yet. I don't know if I'm like in a scene talking to him, you know, okay. I don't know. I don't know that definitely yet, but he will, he's, he is here in Massachusetts and I will be. On and apparently there. still alive. I did not very much <laughs> so stiz stiz before we wrap this up give give the whole fucking plug the movie what's up where we can find it all go yeah man so the movie uh i have a movie that's on demand right now called habitual it's on demand it's on uh, this new app showcase now r.i.p movie theaters um but yeah uh so habitual's <laughs> out now i'm working on a film now habitual Friday. is a movie you're in not something a judge said to you <laughs> you are wait, a habitual wait, offender Stanley wait Bruno. wait so AMC went to RIP? Well, no, I mean... They're, they're, I'm kidding. Go. Keep going. Yeah, yeah that was... A, all right, got also, it. we're going to have a Breaking the Ace podcast movie night at an AMC. Because you because they're only them. charging $99 to rent a movie theater out. So, yeah. right. so we're going to see all the movies I've never seen. Hey, I want to cool. watch fucking Stiz Grimy in fucking... What's the movie called? Black Friday's being filmed now. I do a podcast called Stuck on Stuff. And uh, I'm on the Greg Hill Show. Yeah, you were Thank also you. on Breaking the Ice like five years ago, and you were like, "Hey, I'm gonna get you on on uh, it's, it's, uh it's stuck not, on um, stuff." Thank you. It's a tongue twister. It is. A tongue hey, Stiz, 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 I'm still waiting for the text. Stiz, remember the first fucking podcast you, me, and Josh did, and fucking uh, yes, we fucking you, you and me, you and me were tossing them back, and Josh is like, "Hey, you guys, want to record?" It was much that's like right. you and I did, Mike. Yeah, when you, right. Mike, 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 and I fucking did one. I'm like, I walk in, Mike and I are like, let's do one. I'm like. How about shoe and the Jew? He's like, uh, I don't know if that's gonna fly, but we had fun. I think you should have. Yeah. Shoe we had fun. Through. Hey, you had fun. Yeah, hey, we had fun. Had, we had ask, fun. Let yeah. me ask real quick, Mike. How, how's the pike going? The pike's going good, man. Yeah, a lot of fun. I'm on there Monday through Friday, six to eight. That's dope. And um, you know, it's pretty chill, and it's there's really. Uh, the only I've only met like three people that work there because they're under strict COVID yeah. lockdown. Are you- You know, I got to wish uh, Chuck Perks the best because he's tested positive for COVID and his wife. Oh, fuck, both- come on. Oh, Greg, Greg he's tested uh, positive. He's got, it just feels Jeez, like- I wonder why. He's out there like a fucking hooker on the streets. Uh, Damn. Uh, COVID, sorry. You want to cut that cut out, out too? It's all getting cut out. <laughs> There's a lot of editing happening right now. <laughs> A guy who's like out and about, and one guy who was like really f- trying to play by the rules, and he's still 
Still got so test- does Greg have it right now? Yeah. Yeah. The whole show's quarantined. Yeah. Yeah. Danielle's at home fucking going, fuck this shit. I'm they sure she's are. happy about being at home. Yeah. Well, Stiz, we had a girl on uh, a couple weeks ago, a good friend of Mike's. Her name is Kate. And she, you know, was very, she came on because she's friends with Mike and, uh, and just wanted to talk about the fact that she had COVID. And we were kind of like, okay, you sure you want to come on? Cause she was like coughing and sneezing during the episode, like really like didn't yeah. feel well, but she wants, she's like comfortable with Mike. She's been friends with Mike for a long time. And she just said, she's like, listen, I just want to come on the show and, and talk about my shit. So we're like, yeah, go for it. And she said, look, my husband and I were pretty safe. We have a two-year-old. We're, we're you know cognizant of the fact that we shouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z, but we did go to our friend's house, you know, with, you know, five, six, seven, eight people, whatever. And that five, was five, that, six, seventy. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Five Wait, or what, six what? people. I don't know. I'm being. No. It, was, Maybe, it, was, it was a very small it's gathering. A it was yeah. a. It was this a guy small... just said five, six, seventy, man, and then just tried to keep going like no one heard him. Like, what the fuck? I was trying to be nice. <laughs> one go by. <laughs> she 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 basically <laughs> said. Yeah, she six, basically seven. said that she went to a place where there were let's call it ten friends. How and many they muffins weren't... did you have? One, 16, two, 17, 18, 26,000 people. I went to a Metallica show. So, no. yeah, so she got it. And no, not, not only got it, but was fucked up. And like yeah. before you came on the show, like recently, I, I texted Mike. I'm like, how's Katie doing? She's like, he's like, not good. She fucking was losing her hair. She couldn't fucking walk. Fucked up shit. Now, thankfully, knock on wood, when we started this thing, she's coming out of it. But it was just one of those things. This girl's fucking protective of her kid. Mm-hmm. And didn't go anywhere. Then you got. It doesn't surprise me. Is that too much? Well, I mean, really? Well, he was wiping his. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> everywhere but yo but hey but for, for real like three hundred thousand people have died died yeah. so yeah i mean i don't, I don't know I, but yeah scary. stop being fucking scary. stupid how about that but i mean i don't know you just said i mean yeah use your head that's that's what i do. use your fucking head but also it's like it's like what like i'm trying to wear a mask because of my wife and you should wear it because you're gonna die because you have one fucking lung slide. Actually, says she actually demands that it's got to be an Antonio Banderas mask. Exactly. One from the '80s. Hey, that's right. Zorro. Right. That's yeah. Zorro. I don't want to look at you. I'm Zorro. <laughs> she wants me to walk in and say, "Get on the bed, citizen." <laughs> back again i mean the last half of this is just gonna have some editing isaiah is just we're losing isaiah and okay he's back no 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 hold on you you, no he actually yo that's a chef (laughs) well you just put in the oven (laughs) okay we're done yeah, y'all, y'all are crazy. That was awesome. Listen, this is this has been a good show. You know Gordon Ramsay, this old house. Yeah. <laughs> and then Isaiah, what are you doing? You're just you're doing the marketing thing, right? The PR yeah, PR. life is good, man. LTI is good. Uh, no complaints, man. Life is good. It's easy for easy. Money. Uh, <laughs> things are good, brother. Good stuff, fellas. Good stuff. Yeah, things are good. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see I you in a this movie. What is it a video? What are you guys making a video? What is it? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what about the movie? Good luck. Said good luck with the oh, movie. Yeah, thank this you. This is doing you. the thing right now where you don't want to talk to somebody on the cell phone anymore, and they're going, uh, "You're breaking up." No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, sometimes You're like, yo, yo, guys, you guys all right? You good? The shitty, the shitty part is gonna be waiting, like you know, for like the year or whatever, because I'm to find out if you're even in the movie. Yeah. No, no, to just. Oh see come it. on! <laughs> Wait, what happens if Eminem's in the thing and you're not? Devin Sawa, who stands. All oh, right, St- dude. Yeah. I'm gonna go listen to that fucking move. I'm gonna go listen to that song. I dude, can't believe that's idiot. fucking him. And that kid killed it. That kid killed it. I mean, uh, dude, that move. That video is dope. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think Stan is a Grammy-nominated song. If I'm not. Do you have one? 
Uh, no, no. You'll get there. I, Isaiah doesn't there. even know what Stan do means. He's I don't do it for the Grammys. I don't do it for the Grammys. That's right. Grammys don't mean shit. I don't do it for the money either. I just do it for the cocaine. <laughs> um, but all right, man. Uh, guys, I love all of you. It was nice seeing you. See, he is yeah, nice talking to you. Thanks for coming on, man. Good luck with Stanley. The Thank so you. good to I see you. It. I love all yeah. of you. Isaiah, I will be in touch with each one of you individually. Love you, buds. I right, love you guys. Peace. Right, man. See be you, man. good. Wow, he was out quick. <laughs> he Dude, he couldn't wait to get the fuck off this show. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get the fuck off this show. All the talk about Greg made him uncomfortable. It's um, all getting cut out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we like the bus balls. Really we so. like the bus balls. Yeah. It was good. He needed to have his balls busted because he fucking busts Josh balls his whole life. So fuck. No, it. I could t- I just listen. I love listening to both of them go back and forth with each other. That was fantastic. That that, that segment, Josh, you have to that that whole that whole story about the two of you was fucking awesome. My God, that was like I Stiz had only been at AF for like maybe three months. Thirteen seconds. But he was already so like I I could read him like a book, so I knew what like I knew that if I just said Jeff Bass, he would Google that name and see that Eminem was connected to that name but he what I didn't know is that he would know the name off the top of his head and just the excitement in his voice and just the excitement in his like entire body like when I I pretended that we got disconnected and I hung up and he ran down the hallway and he was like I just stopped at Jeff Bass I'm on the way like he said he was I was like oh my god this kid's heart is going to break. <laughs> oh, dude. dude, though, but I dude, that's like, hook, I, line, and sinker. I was just like, the, the joke's done. I'm just leaving it there. And then he came back, and he was like, dude, I tweeted him. I emailed him. I found out his number. The kid hustles. Wow. And I was just like, I got to call him back and intervene before the real Jeff Bass gets a hold of him. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, should you just play part of it? And yes. Do we have... um? Do we do? You, does this podcast still have a Patreon account? It does. Yes. So maybe just. So do you think that just ended just because fucking like Thanksgiving's that. over? If it's like, nine, you said it's like nine minutes. Yeah, it's like around nine minutes. So like maybe you just put a bonus episode out. Put the, put the yeah, full put, the full thing on Patreon. Yeah, play like three yeah. like three good minutes, and then say if you want to hear the whole thing, you can do it on Patreon. But that's a great piece and we also it's gave you idea. a bunch of pause times where you can be like and we'll play it now and you'll play it it's so that he was fucking googling this shit to play his own demise that was funny oh, he just he just he just texted me and said what's your email i'll send you the prank video i emailed you the fucking oh, Zoom in. This is, dude this is fucking funny this is good and we could use this fucking shit right here as a, <laughs> as a recap right here this recap of like the recap this is good this was great that was good and thanks for grabbing him to have him on my uh, my wife probably overheard something. Well, I just wanted to have him on just in case we could get Bruce Campbell on, really. I don't give a... No, listen, we, we, listen <laughs> we will use whoever we have to use for whatever the right, fuck we exactly. need. That's right. Okay? Look, Mike, realize that we're just using you to get to Mistress Carrot. I know. I, well, you, go yeah. ahead. I don't know why you're... Why I'm holding you up. I like <laughs> I to finger you a little bit to get to... Her. I have no contacts to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the I love you are- both. <laughs> fuck off. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you leaving? Right, you guys. I'm out. All right. We'll see. Oh, wow. He was gone. Oh, okay. And it's just me. All right. Bye, everyone. Check out stizgrimey.com. What is it?